ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chris Cunningham for Zero One USA. This is DeAndre King, five foot four, 174 pounds. The guy's sculpted, and he can work in the ring. He's teaming up tonight with Tony G. Calls himself the. Uh, I don't know what he calls himself. See if I can get it right this time. Announcing Dickie Wallbash. That's Jason B right there with his mentor, friend, teacher, partner, the independent professional wrestling icon, Parker Dirge. <laughs> well, right. Just a reminder, I'm sitting here at home recording this commentary, watching this footage for the first time. So if I step on the cameraman or anyone else speaking, my apologies. It appears that this is indeed a women's title. This broadcast is brought to you from uh, Lincoln's Challenge, Grand Tour, Illinois. Kenny King, I'm sorry. DeAndre King looking to start this one off with Dirge. Collar and elbow tie up. Dirge to the headlock. Shoulder blocking. DeAndre goes down. Dirge looking to take his arm off. Goodness. The ultimate utility player. Asking for a uh, real athlete to get in the ring, and Jason B, of course, assumed he was speaking about him.
And the ladies here at Lincoln's Challenge appreciate Parker Gurge and his bulging biceps. Three straight to the bread basket. Parker answers with a closed line. Prevents the tag. I think he made the big guy mad. Not that easy. Cinching him up. Oh! Parker Dirge has done battle with some greats. He's traveled the United States and beyond. He's held countless, countless titles, worked for countless promotions. We're lucky that this man is local to the Midwest area. I'm lucky and glad for the experience of being able to watch his career. Jason B calling for a test of strength. He's trying to even it out. DeAndre King is the uh, perfect example of dynamite coming in small packages. Jason B might not want to test him. DeAndre King surprising Jason. Look at that. They call him the best damn kept secret for a reason. A lot feel a lot of people feel that he is underutilized and uh I think he's just waiting to explode myself. Looks like he's going for the Crippler's Crossface. I know that his inspiration for getting into this business was none other than Chris Benoit. Oh! Referee Mike Underwood. Parker's back in. He's got King. He might do well to keep him isolated. Oh! Appears to be doing just that. Hey, I see Debbie Gas. And there's her lovely husband, Bradley. Two wonderful Zero One USA fans. Scoop slam. Right to. Took it to the well one too many times. Boom! Hot tag to Jason. Oh! This guy's a lot of fun to watch. I don't know what that was, some kind of tornado drop kick. That's what I'm calling it. One, two. Tony G needs to make that pass. 
DeAndre King with the cheap shot. He's got him tied up in the corner. I don't know if those are fists, elbows, or biceps, but he's eating something. Fan getting behind Jason. Jason catches him. Oh! That's gotta hurt. The referee's gotta take control here. Parker's got that award. Oh! Smashed over King's head, gotten rid of the evidence. There you have it. I ain't making another one. You can blame it. You destroyed it. I ain't making another one. King's going to fill that one in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, Zero One USA 10th anniversary. It's coming up October 22nd. Jason V's made a challenge to Harker Dirge. His former student has said he wants out of the shadow. He's challenged him to a career versus career match. This is King Cobra. Justin King, the manager, the talent, is ultra talented. The Muay Thai warrior, the Cobra. He's a bad dude. Justin King, he's just as bad. Just in different ways. Dirty. I like it. He's traveled the world. Worked for the biggest company in the world. He's refereed major world title matches. He's been a part of more big events than a lot of people have seen Justin King. So this guy obviously knows talent. He's latched onto the Cobra and not for nothing.
to everybody. Let this man talk. Now he's probably telling the truth there. Ladies and gentlemen, King and Cobra, they're not upset for nothing. They're angry because they're fighting, they claim to be fighting the psycho tonight. Well, they got that right. Shank Barzini is a madman. I feel sorry for these two because you never know what he's going to do. And I like it. Justin King better watch himself tonight. Seems like a rough crowd. This could be a long night. The Cobra in the ring at last. I understand the hesitation. Completely. Look at his face. I've seen him in action. 
it's a wonder to behold. And I thank God that I'm not the one on the other side of the ring up yet. Look at him. He's a mad man. He's kicking his own ass. I've never seen anything like this. And apparently neither has the Cobra. Look at that! He's crazy, but he's full of talent. Nearly took his head off. Oh my god, he's sick! Schoolboy 1 2! Oh, Shane takes it to the outside! That's not where you want to be with Barzini! I don't usually bet against King Cobra. On this one, I think I'm just not going to bet at all. I knew it! Oh! Let go! Kingle, get those cheap shot ends any chance you give it. Forgive me for the uh, moments of silence, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm a fan. Remember that. I'm seeing it for the first time, so I get caught up in the action. Cobra putting the boots to shank. Referee Underwood admonishing the Cobra. To the breadbasket. To the face. Snap, man. Shank took him down with some kind of leg lariat. The Cobra takes it to the outside this time. Easy to see why. This is what Justin King is known for it's what he's good at.
When he accompanies the Kogan at the ring, it's not without purpose. They make each other better. Well, excuse me, I'm just, am I the only one? I'm just not used to seeing such a uh, beautiful camera person. Those fans there, I think they've been to a show or two before with these guys. They knew to get out of the way. Puts him back in. Cobra takes control though. Shout for King. Even if he's just there to distract you. That's enough to cost you the match. One, two. As we all know, King's more than just a distraction. Put on a shirt. He'll put his boots to you if he gets the chance. What? Jeez. He might live to pay for that. Regret it. Oh boy. He's going to send Justin King back over to India. King's proud of himself. And as he should be. People can hate on him all day long. But King's out here to do a job. And at the end of the day, he usually gets that job done. The Cobra's stretching him out. Shank makes it into the ropes. He doesn't break it, though. The Cobra pulls him back out to where he wants him, locks him back up, and wrenching on his chin. Ladies and gentlemen, he's shanking up. Shank to the ropes. Stops himself. Nails the Cobra with an elbow. Holy cow! He's nuts, but he's got an undeniable move set. Undeniable talent. I see nothing but big things for Shank Barzini. Boom! 
And down goes the Cobra. Oh my god. Talk about strong style. Talk about drunk style. That's Shane Barzini. Calling for the end. The crowd's yelling for it. Shanks got him up. Oh, Death Valley Driver. One, two. That's got to be it. Are you kidding me? King just caused the interruption. Saved the Cobra from the three count. Because that was over. He's in the hands of the madman now, though. He's going to nail him, and I don't blame him. Saved by the coat. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, my God! That was insane. Insane. Give it to both of these guys, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hell of a match. And give it up to referee Mike Underwood for containing it as best as anyone can anyway. Remember, 10th anniversary coming up, 01 USA, Matt Jean, Illinois, October 22nd. Uh, we've got the Man Beast Rhino challenging Frank Wyatt for the 01 USA World Heavyweight title. Jordan Perry, he's putting his title up in a four way against Jake St. Patrick, Da Cobra, and Matt Cage. That's not all. The Viking War Party, they're challenging the Hooligans for the Tag Team Titles, Zero One USA. And this just in, Jason B has challenged his mentor, his friend, to a match. That would be career versus career. We haven't heard back from Harker Birds yet, but as soon as we find out, you'll be the first to know. There it is, Jason V, Harker Dirge. This one has huge implications. The challenge has not been answered. It may not be answered, but boy, I can't even imagine. For Zero One USA, I'm Chris Cunningham.